I don't know, I've probably cast it at least 200 times by now. I'm getting a little tired. Maybe we'll call it soon. Oh, there's a big paintball jump right there. Oh, there we go, he went for it. Good morning, anglers and anglets. It's about 6.40 a.m. I'm out here with my cousins, Miguel and Victor. And we're gonna try to catch some bonito. Now, I've only caught one bonito in my entire life and it was by accident. I was just lure playing. It just happened to go for it. I've never caught another one since. So what I'm gonna do today is try to catch another bonito and also teach them the ropes if I figure out what I need to do. You know what I mean? So we're out here early. I heard this spot is very good for bonito. I mean, it's also really good for mackerel. We either get bonito or mackerel. Probably gonna go for the same thing, but that's just my opinion. Not entirely sure. Still trying to figure it out, you know, but that's what this channel is about. It's all about trying new things out. Let's go ahead and set up. All right, I brought out two rods. I got the old reliable Sven followed by the Pen Conflict 2 4000. I just re spooled it. Fresh 10 pound braid, so it's gonna cast really nice. I got the Shakespeare Ugly Stick GX2 combo. I have 20 pound braided, also fresh. That one I'm gonna take out if the 10 pound is not gonna be good enough for Bonito. But you know, that's still me trying to figure things out. I'm gonna add this guy to the end. I'm gonna just tie it straight on because I'm only doing 10 pound. I'm gonna have the drag really loose and I'm gonna fight it. I heard that Bonito basically strike anything that's pretty quick and shiny so I'm just gonna throw this out jerk it around keep doing that here let me show you guys how I'm gonna tie this on first take out the lure now I'm gonna teach you guys a new knot that I just learned that's really good it might be questionable on braid braid is thinner and it slips a little bit easier there are special knots for braids but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a polymer knot first things first is you kind of run it through like this and then take the other end the loose end over here and stick it through the hole over here then take your other hand and hold on to it. The more line that you have, the easier it is to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and give myself some more line. It's okay, not a big deal. So then you grab this end and you have this end and you have you see how the, the lure and or hook and or swivel, this works for any open end in a sense. What you wanna do is you're gonna make an overhand knot. So, or the most simple knot it is, is you just do a loop and then you have this right here, this big loop. You tuck whatever you're trying to make the knot with through. So just tuck it through and then hold on to the main line and the tag end line and just pull until you get a little close. Now, a lot of people like to add some lubricant just to not burn the line when you're pulling. Uh, you can use anything from water. I just like to use spit. This is a brand new line and a brand new lure. So I have no problem just, you know, munching a bit and then just go ahead and pull both the tag end and the main line pull until it's tight give some tugs there you go and that should be super secure now normally I'd put a swivel but I want to trust the braid I don't want to trust the swivel for this one at least the only swivel that would make sense is a, a really small one maybe like a size 12 but I don't want to trust the size 12 swivel I'm trusting purely on this braid we're gonna see how it goes. After you're done, do some tugs, make sure it's tight. Take a pair of scissors and just snip this off. Some people like to cut it all the way down. I like to leave like two or three millimeters just in case because it is braided and might slip. That's how you tie a very quick polymer knot. People consider the polymer knot as one of the strongest fishing knots. So this is the one I'm gonna trust with this handy dandy little lure. All right, here we go. I have set the appropriate drag in the meantime. Still able to go out, but not too loose. This is just to start off with. Now, when you're out on the jetties and on the rocks, you don't really want to use braid because it rubs against the rocks. But if you're careful enough, braid would work well because braid casts really nicely. I'm using 10 pound braided next to the rock. So it's a little sketchy, just a little sketchy, but play my cards right and I'll be fine. Here we go. This is the lure I'm gonna be using. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss this out and just kind of jerk it back and forth and then hope for the best. Bonitos will probably tackle anything that's nice and shiny and give it a shot. Also gotta watch out for the little pieces of kelp. I get stuck in there, that'd be bad. First cast luck, They're not bad. I could probably cast better. Still trying to figure this out. So nice slow retrieve and some little twitches and hope for the best. Once I get too close, I'm just gonna reel it up. 
Guys, do you see that? I think that's a bait ball. We gotta go over there. It looks like a lot of disturbance. It might be a bait ball. If there's a bait ball, you always want to cast next to the bait ball. There might be some big fish trying to catch that little bait ball right there. Didn't get any bites with that bait ball. No one did actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the other side. Just swap it up a bit. Who knows, you know? Because I'm just casting and hoping at this point. Nice slow retrieve followed by a couple twitches. Oh, I think I got something. What is it? Oh, it's a mackerel. I think it's a baby mackerel. Nice. Hey guys, baby mackerel. Nice. Not what I was hoping for, hoping for a bonito, but you know, I'll take it. Mackerel are also good baits. It's time to start a new tradition. Anytime I catch something, the first catch, I'm gonna release it. Doesn't matter what. Unless it's gravely wounded or gut shotted and bleeding profusely, I'm gonna throw them back. It's a way to say thanks to the fish and a way to start the day by knowing that no matter what happens from now on, I already beat the skunk, so it's already a good day. Catching one fish is already good enough for me, and I wanna return that feeling and luck to any fish that I catch first. So, Mr. Baby Mackerel, you would have been good bait, but it's your lucky day. So, see you, little guy. Thanks for playing. All right, now that the first catch is out of the way, everything is up for grabs, that's legal. We're good. Any day of fishing is already better than any day of not fishing, right? Just glad to be out here. There isn't really a set rule on how to do this. It's just whatever you feel. So try fast, try slow, see what happens, and just remember what you did next time. Tangled myself there a bit. Probably the easiest of tangles to just fix. Oh, I'm on something. Oh man, let go. Something was there. A lot of lure play is just kind of trying to figure things out. There is no set way to actually do this. You just gotta try and hope for the best, honestly. Each fish is different, so best thing to do is try fast, try slow, try jerking, try slow retrieve, try whatever, honestly, and then whatever works, just try to remember what you were doing and then just keep practicing that for that specific species. I'm not sure exactly what I'm saying, but it makes sense in my head, you know what I mean? Huge bait ball happening right there. Lots of activity. There's a pelican. So much stuff happening. Cast into it. Come on. Come on. How do you land them from this? Oh, wait. I got it. Got one. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, no. Stay away from that. Come on. Land it. Land it. There we go! Yeah, we go! Woo! There's a bonito right there. Took some time, but the bonitos finally came. Oh, man. All right, let's get this guy off. Nice. Thank you. This is the first time catching him like this. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why I don't know what I'm doing, but I guess it just worked out, huh? Oh, man, this guy's a fighter. Look at him. There we go. Let's see how heavy he is. Well, he's not even like, he's not even bonking my scale. I think he's a pound. Okay, he's probably just a pound. So the regulations with these guys is if they're under 24 inches, which I'm pretty sure this guy is, you can keep five of them. So this is my first one under 24. Let's go. You got one? Oh yeah, Miguel's got one too. Land it, brother. There we go. Miguel, how's it feel? Bonito right there. It was good, dude. First time ever. First time ever? Heck yeah. How's the fight? How's the it fight? It was good. It was good. All right, let's yeah, get him back. Yeah. One for me, one for Miguel. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I'm on. I'm on one. It doesn't feel big. Maybe. Oh, never mind. It's a fighter. There he goes. Come on. And up. Woo! Miguel's got one too! That's another bonito right there! Nice! Look at that, Miguel and I double. Check it out, you two. I accidentally snagged an anchovy. I snagged a baby anchovy. Steve got a monster. Personal best right here. Oh yeah, he's there. Oh yeah, that's a good fight right there. Look at this guy. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Nice, beautiful fish. You on one? All right, let's see. Bring it up, bring it up. There you go. Bring it up, bring it up. Nice. Bonito for Victor. There we go. How's it feel? How was the fight? Bring it over, bring it over. Good. Nice. You got teeth, huh? Yeah, they got teeth. They're predators. 
There we go, first one for Victor right there. I think we're at six, right? So that means we can catch nine more. This is us just trying to figure it out. I don't even know what we were supposed to be doing today until this happened, you know? Yeah. This is working, so next time we come out, we're ready. Remember what you did when you caught him? Keep trying that and see if it works. I think I got one. We got another one right here. Oh, this one's uh, taking a little bit more drag. Come on, come on, come over here. No, stay away from there, come over here. Oh yeah, this one's taking it. Grab the net, grab the net. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's all it extends. I'll see if I can land it at a better spot. I'm gonna just try to lift them up into your net zone, okay? I'll keep them here. Ready, set. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice one. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you. I want to weigh this guy. Yeah, these guys got teeth. Oh, wow. How many pounds? I don't know. Let's see. Two. About two? Yeah. All right, a two pounder. Right now, this is my PB. <laughs> nice. That's nice. Yeah, I don't know where I put my measuring tape. Dang, I really want to know how long he is. Wait, I have an idea. I'm just going to I'll measure at home, but I'll use my rod as reference from the tail. Okay, this is not perfect, but up to the base of this thing a bob, or actually probably a little bit longer. Okay, probably like halfway up this thing. I'll measure it later. Just to give an estimate. It's not gonna be exact, but it's an estimate. Oh yeah, look at this guy. Monster Benito right here. All right, Miguel's taking a small break from fishing for Benito. So I'm gonna teach him the little thingamabob that I always do at the jetty out here that no one else does. All right, this is gonna blow your mind. Okay, so here we have a size six hook, all right, Miguel? Really small hook. Here is a one ounce torpedo. Up here, tiny piece of shrimp. All right, you see it? Really small, look how big it is compared to the hook. It's basically just like that. Expose the hook. All right, now come over here. I'm gonna blow his freaking mind. Okay, so see where the rocks are submerged? You wanna cast five feet in front of them. So actually, I think right there might be a, right there might be a better spot. Let me step over here and here we go. I'm gonna toss it about five feet in front of the last submerged rock I can see. So toss. All right, that's a little farther than I normally would, but that's okay. It's still within the range. Now watch. And I think I'm on. No, never mind. It let go. Is the bait still there? All right, bait's still there. Okay, but it went for it. You see the tip? Right back out. Same spot. Maybe the bait's gone. I think you got one. You got one? It's just non-stop out here. I'll get back to this in a hot second. Nice. That's a good one. All right, let's bring it up. Back to where we were before we were so rudely interrupted, Miguel. <laughs> just kidding, Victor. Hi. Just kidding. All right, here we go. Sorry, six hook, tiny shrimp. Here we go. 10 feet in front. Lock it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, there we go. Oh, 16. Oh, wait, this guy's a fighter. What the heck? Oh no, it's a Garibaldi! <laughs> okay, this is the California state fish. We can't keep them. Here, grab the net so we can safely release them. But yeah, that's how easy it is to catch fish this close to the rocks. Not a lot of people know. Now, granted, I'm not trying to go for Garibaldi, but they do give up a really nice fight and they have really pretty colors. All right, let's uh, release them. All right, bye Forbidden Magic Carp. Thanks for playing. There we go, he's just fine. What do you think? That's how you do it. Super easy, bro. It's super easy. Super quick. Not a lot of people do that. So yeah, that's pretty good for a second try, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, really quick though, huh? Yeah, it was quick. What did it take? 10 seconds? 11 seconds? It's 10, 15 fast. seconds? Super fast. Yeah. Not a lot of people know. Close to the rocks. I had never tried it before until I seen you do it today. I blew my mind, bro. Yeah, exactly. 
There we go. But I mean, we're not trying to catch Garibaldi. They'll go for the shrimp that just happens. Yeah. But you can catch the tiny little piece too. Yeah, right? tiny little piece of shrimp. But you can catch perch, croakers, a good chunk of stuff. Honestly, yeah. half moon stuff like that. No one really does it. I mean, some people do. Yeah. But not a lot of people know. Really close to the rocks. Really far out in the jetty. Super simple. Easy, easy. Easy peasy. Oh yeah. Oh, this one's a big one. It's taking track. Can you get the net? Where are you? Oh. Let's go. Oh, it's not that big. I got bamboozled. And it's a mackerel. No, it's a bonito. It's not that big. Ah, uh, he's, he's still pretty good. Nice, let's go. Let's bring him up. We should probably count these guys. Can you get a plastic? Here, grab a plastic bag. Let's count them. All right, so what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna go ahead and count to see where we're at. So there's three of us and these guys, if they're under 24 inches, we can keep five between us. So as long as we're at 15, we're okay. I don't think we're at 15, I just wanna count. So here's one, two, here's mine, big daddy right here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten and one macro that's fine so we have ten we can catch five more and we're good a lot of the time spent while you're doing this is just empty casting and kind of jigging it around jerking it and pulling it back that's just the nature of the beast it's not always super instant as videos would like you to see the one thing I do have control over is editing and making sure you guys can see the action right away. But in reality, I don't know, I've probably cast it at least 200 times by now. I'm getting a little tired. Maybe we'll call it soon. Keep one big one for myself. See what my parents want any. Oh, there's a big paintball jump right there. Oh, there we go. He went for it. Oh, right in the middle of bantering. Right there. Uh, I was literally in the middle of talking of how I probably casted like 200 times already, Miguel. And then this guy literally jumped for it. <laughs> he knew. Anyways, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Gonna keep one for myself. The big one, most likely the two pounder. Okay. See if Amber wants to do anything with them. Then check my parents. Then check with anyone else who would want them, friends and family and such, you know. But yeah, that's been hedo fishing. You just never know when it's gonna happen. I was literally talking and they just strike. Probably been casting for a good 15 minutes prior or nothing. And I decided, hey, maybe this is a good time to talk. And apparently he heard me and he went for it. We're gonna clean up all our beds, man. Nature's providing for us. We're gonna take care of her. Yeah, of course, clean up. Always good rule. I try to mention it a lot in my videos. Sometimes I forget and I just do it. Once we're done, just clean up. Even if you have a little downtime, make sure all your trash is put away. All right, we've been out here for, I don't know, like four, four hours. hours. About four hours now. We're all really tired. We got 11 Benito to split all between us. And we'll figure it out later, but that's enough for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a really fun, fun episode to film and will definitely be super fun to edit because like I mentioned, Neither of us have actually done any type of bonito fishing. Decided just to head out here on the whim. Luckily it paid off. We got a lot of nice, nice bonito. I got a two pounder. That's my PB right there. I'll, I'll measure them out when we get back. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you in the next episode.